So I'm in South Africa and I'm on a safari and I, I'm, I'm, I'm really like tripping off of this safari and I'm out here with all of these big animals and stuff. And I notice the elephant is moving around. The elephant is strong and he's big and he's tough and his power's in his weight. And he throws his weight around. And he throws his weight around. What can you do with him? Because he's so big. God made him big as a defense. The lion roars. When he roars, everybody is almost paralyzed in fear. Because God gave him his roar as his defense. The cheetah says, I can't roar like that, but I can run like the wind. The cheetah he goes running through the woods because God made him able to run because that's his defense. The eagle spreads his wings and soars into the air and says, I can't run, but I can fly. God let the eagle be able to fly because it was his defense. And I'm walking around in the jungle and I said, well, Lord, I can't fly like the eagle. I can't run like the cheetah, I can't roar like the lion, and I can't throw my weight around like the elephant. What did you give man as his defense? In, in the whole ecosystem of human, of, of life force, what did you give me? He said, I gave you a brain. Your brain is your defense. That's why God doesn't make chairs. He only brings it halfway. Mm -hmm. And then let you imagine, create, develop. Do you understand what I'm saying? The problem with church people is that we are taught that God makes furniture. So we pray and 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 pray. Table, I need a table. God, give me a table. Give me a table, Jesus. Just one table, Lord. If you give me a table, I'll praise you. If you give me a table, I'll serve you. And God says, I don't do that. I make trees. I want you to look around your life for trees, not tables.